Hi, hi. Hi, Benny. How are you? Good, good. How are you? Thanks for coming in so fast. <laughs> yeah, welcome. Yeah. We are in Margao. Yeah. So, no, when uh, this Rasa Vipa came here? Uh, some time back? Or? Yeah, about half an hour back, uh, you know, we, uh, my, I have got three dogs at home. Okay. So, my uh, one of the dogs started barking. And okay. she's a very sensitive dog, so she was barking and barking. And then uh, the dogs had actually surrounded one on this side, one on that side, and they were not allowing it to move. So, it's quite a thick uh, reptile, you know. Uh, let's have a look at it. Yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, Thanks. Russell's vipers have relatively long fangs that are folded against their upper jaw. When they strike, the fangs are erected to inject venom. Within five seconds of its delivery, the hemotoxic venom goes for the bloodstream, triggering tiny blood clots, puncturing the blood vessels and eventually causing internal bleeding leading to death. We were very worried for these dogs, but it was great to see that he had already taken the initiative to tie up his pets and keep them at the side. That's an amazing thing to do because pets can be in danger. They don't understand it. They're not sure whether to attack it. They're not sure whether to play with it. So whenever you do have any kind of snake around, if you're not sure what snake it is, you can't identify it. Best thing is to take your pets, keep them inside, tie them up and make sure that they are safely away from the snake first. There it is. Yeah. Russell Viper, give me the hook stick. Okay. Just stand here, don't, don't go further. Huh? Yeah. It also looks like he might have eaten something. Yeah, it's kind of it fat. It looks like no? it has eaten a rat. Maybe last night. We do have a lot of rats here. Okay, mm. okay. I don't want him to regurgitate, so I won't really handle him too much. Do it because he's eaten something. What we'll do is just keep the bag along that wall there. Okay. So I get the bag into the space, um, you know, where I feel it's comfortable enough for the snake to want to get into. It's along this ledge, but the snake has another idea. It wants to turn around and go back towards the house, and that's not what we want. Uh, so we decide, okay, let's try and get the snake back towards the bag. So Benil goes the other way, he uses the hook stick, he gets the snake closer to the bag, and then we reposition the snake so that the snake sees the bag, and finally it does. So they instinctively know that... So I just guide him towards the bag, yeah. I don't want to touch him. Don't move your legs, huh? Fast it moving to the bag, huh? Super fast. Let me just tie that. Yeah, that's it, we're good here. 